But if I have improved because of the message and you have improved by the message, it's the message of Allah that made you acquainted with me in the first place. If you ask yourself, how do I know this man? Your answer will be because of Islam. Am I right? There you go. If I did not preach what Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had said, we would not know each other. So let's keep it that way. The, the power, the respect belongs to Allah and his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We are just brothers and sisters, alhamdulillah. We love each other, we respect each other. But if I have to run away just now, please forgive me. Don't say he's arrogant, I promise you. I wish I could actually, you know, make everyone happy. But alhamdulillah, I'm sure you appreciate. We perhaps will get another moment sometime. Jazakumullah khair. I think I'm going to be walking straight out of here and disappearing. So please forgive me for that. It might sound, you might say he was just speaking about character and conduct and look at what he's just done, disappeared. So that's why I'm letting you know in advance, we are just human beings like you. I also need a lot of help. I need to improve myself as well. If you notice anything bad from me, please correct me in a beautiful way uh, without the insults inshallah. And I promise I will do the same. May Allah bless you all. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. Subhanallahi wa bihamdihi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Unfortunately or fortunately, we'll have to go into overtime. Maybe three or four minutes because of the land cruiser, right? Injury time. <laughs> so my brothers and sisters, let me take you through one of the most touching incidents in the seerah and the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, where he lost his uncle, he lost his wife Khadija, binti Khawailid, radiallahu anha. He lost, meaning what had happened, they just had sanctions against them as Muslimin, Shi'ab Abi Talib. It was known as Amul Huzun, the year of sadness. He decided, you know what? Let me go out of Mecca. Perhaps the people outside might listen. I've been trying with these people for so long. They haven't heard. He didn't label them. He didn't swear them. He did not insult them. He didn't insult the people of Mecca. And he just kept on trying. Because he knows my job is the trial. Guidance is in the hands of Allah. If Allah wants, he can guide the person you are swearing. And he can take the guidance away from you and I. May he not do that for us. But may he guide us all. So he thought to himself, let me go. And it was from Allah, inspired as well. He went to Ta'if. He decided, let me go to Ta'if. Ta'if is outside, right? When he got to Ta'if, he wanted to call the people towards the beautiful deen, towards honesty, towards respecting the women, towards fulfilling their rights, towards issuing, you know, worshipping Allah alone, and so many other powerful good teachings. What did they do? They insulted him. They started laughing, cracking jokes, insulting verbally. My brothers and sisters, be careful of this habit. It's very bad. You know why? It will result in killing. It will result in stone throwing and killing. If you don't watch your mouth, it will become out of control very soon. So be careful. Watch your tongue. When you disagree with someone, disagree with them with respect. If you don't watch your tongue, you will end up killing one another for butter and bread, for something minor. So what happened to the Prophet ﷺ? They started off with the tongue, mocking. It developed very quickly 